Are you tired of your 9 to 5 job? You honestly feel like there's no sense of purpose, like there's no purpose in life. You honestly tried everything. You tried drinking coffee, you tried going out on a run in the morning, in the evening, you probably also tried yoga. Then, here's a good news for you. Miracle Mentality, every morning, a devotion just made for you with Pastor Jolly George so that you can have some sense of purpose in life. Just like me. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. So we will rejoice in it and we will glad in it. Um, Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 we read like this. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank. Daniel was a Hebrew teenager who had taken into exile from Judah to Babylon. Right now he is in Babylonian exile. Though he was in Babylonian exile or he live in Babylon now, he did not get defiled himself with the many things which the Babylonians followed. The food or the, the faith which they have, he did not get involved by himself. Many times there was a force for him to bow down before or worship as they worship their king. But Daniel decided, we read from this verse, Daniel decided or he purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies. King's delicacies was too tempting. It was rich food. For him it was free. It was offered to him. He can eat from the king's table. But Daniel promised to kiss God that he would not do that because he know that he is an extraordinary person. He is chosen, set apart by his God. So he did not get tempted to eat or get involved in the affairs of the Babylonians. But what he purposed in his heart that he won't defile himself with any of those things. He won't get succumbed to the temptation. But we know the result that God, Daniel was given great wisdom. He was filled with knowledge and wisdom from in other words, he was he was given heavenly wisdom to interpret dreams, to take uh, decisions. So if we have to live a life which is extraordinary, if you have to live a life which is set apart from everybody or everything of this world, we need to make a sacrifice. Sacrifices which others are not willing to make. Sacrifices that not getting into or not yielding for the temptation which Others like to get yielded. To forgive the people, those who are hurt, though it is not fair, then we will experience God's favor is shining upon us. He'll be filling you with the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, heavenly blessings. And you will have the wisdom to take decisions. Cutting edge technologies, creativities, ideas will be yours because you did not identify yourself with the world but you have purposed in your life that you won't get involved with the things of this world but you are making a sacrifice heavenly father sees that and he is rewarding you with the heavenly blessings which is beyond your dream or beyond your understanding and he will open the doors all the iron doors will be opened in front of you, which you never ever dreamt about that open doors, because God is not adapted to anybody. He answers you. He loves you so much for making that sacrifice in your life. And the elevation is on your way. Jesus loves you so much. So take heart, even if you feel that 
nobody is seeing the sacrifice which you are you are making right now but your heavenly father is seeing that he is going to elevate you he is your reward he is the lifter of your head hallelujah so take confidence in that take pride in the sacrifice which you are making right now god is seeing you he is there he is coming down with the answers for you hallelujah shall we pray Father God, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, Lord. Lord, I pray for your children, those who are making sacrifices, Lord. Not to get involved with the affairs of this world. Not getting yielded into the temptations, Lord. But purposing in their heart that, separating themselves, Father God. Dedicating themselves to you, Lord, to serve you. to invest in the kingdom lord to move forward and upward in the life with you and we know that lord you are going to take them from faith to faith from strength to strength and to glory to glory lord we thank you and we praise you we glorify you in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen purpose in your life and god will reward you so have a blessed day